March 12th, this is Big Purple Couch. I'm your host, Christine Clark. And I'm your co-host, Celia Grimley. And uh, Celia and I were talking about this earlier. The weather has been absolutely amazing. And I know people go on and say, like, that's what they've been talking about forever. But I was sitting out on Concrete Beach yesterday. You were actually on the patio at Barney's. Yep, I've been spending a lot of time on Barney's patio working, not yeah, drinking or playing Well, I guess the it's good time. for you for tips and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, it's really good. But people are loving it, and I don't think people realize how nice this weather is for this time of year. I mean, it's before St. Paddy's Day. Any of you guys exactly. think about those days in the past, they have not been nearly as nice as we as the weather that we've been having. So, And just putting it in perspective, right now for high schools and elementary schools, it's March break. Has there ever been a March break where you can just walk around in your shorts and flats? I actually broke out my flats. Super excited about that. Yeah, typically on March break, when I was in high school, I would be going to Blue Mountain and going skiing exactly. and snowboarding. Skiing or those would be or my like plans. Yeah. Going out with friends. Totally but, different uh, this year. As you were saying, it's great weather, especially with St. Paddy's Day coming up. And we were just talking about earlier about all the different perks that bars are doing to try to get people to come into their bar on St. Paddy's Day. And here at The Spoke, where I'm planning to be for sure on Saturday morning, you have free t-shirts? Yes, please. They're probably green, here. right? Yes, probably <laughs> green t-shirts. Be here early to get them, but not too early because I want to make sure I get my t-shirt. So I can't recommend you to come here early. <laughs> and we also hear that Molly Blooms is handing out free egg sandwiches for the first 100 people to yeah, the bar. Yeah, egg sandwiches. I don't know. I mean, maybe because people will be there really early, so it's like a breakfast thing. I didn't think that egg sandwiches had anything to do with St. Patty's Day. I don't know. There. Eggs sort of and alcohol? Yeah, I don't know I if don't I would know. want to miss that. <laughs> no. Maybe they know that no one will want them, and that's why they're promoting it. I don't it's know. It's not going to cost them too much money. <laughs> For sure. It'll be a great time. But speaking of a great time, earlier this week, I had the opportunity to go see Legally Blonde, the musical that Theatre Western was putting on. And you got an opportunity to speak to various you know, actors in the play, the director, musical directors. Yeah. It was an amazing performance. They just did an absolutely amazing job. The pit band and all of the actors and actresses. I got to see it Monday night, opening night. It's fantastic. Yeah, I actually didn't get a chance to go see the show because this nice weather obviously took me outside. Mm -hmm. But I really hope that they did do a good job because they seemed like they were working really hard to pull off an amazing show. And they said it was one of their biggest over the last few years. So good for them. I'm really happy to hear that it turned and out well. Definitely one of my favorite parts. They had guest appearances for people to play Bruiser. And we uh, had uh, Andrew Forgione <laughs> as Bruiser one night. I've Adam Fernell got to be Bruiser, so a little... Taco Bell dog, it's always good fun. <laughs> yeah, I did actually hear <laughs> Dress that. Dress up to get to be that. Yeah, I heard that they were both going to make an appearance, but that's good to hear that yeah, they got to be a dog. Yeah, it was hilarious. <laughs> but uh, also coming up on the show today, we can't forget that, you know, nice weather means the year is kind of winding down. And for all of you people in fourth year or who are graduating, maybe moving on to different things, we have the last lecture coming up. And it's going to be Jordan Banks that's going to be doing the lecture. And uh, I don't know, I mean, for me, I'm in third year, so I'm not leaving, so I don't have that, you know, kind of nostalgic feeling worrying about what it's going to be like. But for you, Celia, you're graduating. Yeah, I'm in fourth year, so this will be my last year, and I'm looking forward to going to the last lecture. He's the uh, managing director of Facebook Canada, so it'll be interesting to see uh, choice, what he has yeah. to say. Yeah, I mean, Facebook is pretty relevant to at least our generation, and mm -hmm. um, obviously it's still as popular as it probably will be in the future, so it'll be nice to hear what he has to say. And just as a nice little tidbit of information, exactly. he graduated in 1990 when most of the graduates this year were born, so we're looking forward to hearing what he has to say. Sure. And, you know, what would you say when you graduate? Is there one thing you're going to miss the most here at Western? Um, I think it's just going to be the fact that I won't be a student again. I mean, maybe I'll go back to school, but you spend your whole life in school up exactly. until this point that um, you get used to being in class and meeting new people and, you know, having those sort of you know, teachers as sort of authority figures right. or guidance or whatever. So it's going to be di weird being sort of independent and being a real adult, as some people like to call it, right? For sure. But we'll have that coming up on the show. We'll also be talking about the Kaiser Fashion Show, which this year all their money will be going to the Epigenetics Unit at the Children's Health Foundation. 
Kitchen. So be sure to check out that interview. And we're going to have some uh, closing banter, St. Patty's Day surprise. And Celia and I don't really know what don't that know what is, is yet. So we're going to see what ends up happening. So stay tuned for that and more here on Big Purple Couch. Thank you.